Hi and welcome back to Hippo School Online. In this section we're going to take a look at the Screen Warp Manager. Screen Warp Manager is a component designed to manipulate the output of your hypnotizer based on a non-linear surface. If for example you want to project onto a curved screen then this is the component you will need. To begin simply double click the Screen Warp Manager and load it to the interface. We then need to create a new Screen Warp and hit the new button like so. I would then suggest going into the settings menu and getting your screen warp set up for first use. Start by giving your screen warp a name. You can then choose how many nodes are contained within the screen warp. I will always suggest to start with three and upgrade this later should you need to. Simple mode gives us access to the perimeter nodes whereas full spline gives us access to the central nodes as well. Then just check that your visualization is enabled and select OK. To enable your screen warp on the master layer, simply access the master layer window, go to your warp tab and select the warp you're using. You will then just need to adjust the fader to activate your screen warp on the output like so. When using the Screen Warp Manager you can use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out of different parts of the warp. We can then use the left mouse button on our mouse to manipulate the nodes like so. Other useful shortcuts in Hypnotizer software do enable soft adjustment, fine adjustment in conjunction with the shift key, very useful when trying to maintain the greatest level of accuracy. We can also now select multiple nodes like so and move them together. If greater depth is required in your screen warp, then you have access to the right mouse button. By simply holding the right mouse button down over the required node, simply push up to push the screen away, or pull it down to pull the screen towards you. In any case, you are always trying to maintain that your grid lines stay parallel and straight on your output device. Once you're happy with the screen warp you have created, simply go back to the settings, disable the visualization, and now anything you play through your hypnotizer should be warped accordingly.